up guys? So as you can tell by the title, I titled this What Makes Me Tick. And if you guys don't know, I have something called Tourette's Syndrome, which in my definition is pretty much a habit that you can't help. Some of them are tics that I don't really normally do on camera because they're not really something that I do every day. <laughs> my main tics that I have that I consider to be my main tics are my coughing, my clearing my throat, that weird kind of thing that I do that kind of sounds like a laugh, and then there's my eye rolling. Now out of all of my tics, my most annoying one would probably, it used to be the eye rolling one, but now it's the laugh one because every single time I do it, people think I'm laughing. In some situations, it's really not that bad because yeah, it might be a funny thing, but at the same time, it can be kind of bad because they might think I'm laughing at something that really shouldn't be laughed at, or they just might think I'm laughing for no reason. But if I were going to say things that make me tick, one of the things that really made me tick is when I have to concentrate on something. It, it can be anything, it can be homework, it can be a game, it can be school, it can be like any any place that I'm at. But if I have to concentrate really hard on something, it can make my ticks go off. Now, I really realized this the most when I was playing a game on my phone once. And it was a game that you really had to focus on. The one game that I did it on was Flappy Bird. I could not even play Flappy Bird because it would make my eye rolling thing go off so much that I just couldn't look at the screen. I kept dying because every single time I was playing, I'd do my eye rolling and then like I would die because I looked for I look off it for like 2 seconds. Also, one thing that for me really triggers my Tourette's is when I talk about it. It may seem kind of weird, but when I try to talk about my Tourette's, it just happens. Like what I'm talking about happens and I feel that's weird sometimes because people might think it's weird that I was just I wasn't doing it before but then I started talking about it and now I am. <laughs> I think it's just because it get, you get the idea in your head and then it starts coming out and just like you have no control over it usually so it just kind of it, it just doesn't how it happens. Another thing that can make me tick is sometimes when I'm in school and I'm really bored because we're learning about something that I either don't want to learn about or just gotten tired of. <laughs> Which everyone does, so don't just look at me. Yeah, I'll get bored at school and then I'll just start ticking. But actually, I haven't really ticked at school for the longest time. I mean, I can tick and do like small small ticks and I like, do it every once in a while, but I won't have like a tick attack. Does anyone else call it that? But I have like a lot of ticks at the same time. I call it a tick attack. I'm pretty sure other people call that. If you guys didn't see the video where I told you I had Tourette syndrome, I told a lot about um, back when I was in elementary and when I was in middle school, and middle school was definitely the hardest time for me in Tourette's. See, when I was in middle school, I couldn't even come to school. That's how bad my Tourette's was. But at school, everything just seemed like it was more stress. I had to do all these other things at the same time. I couldn't just sit down and do nothing to make it help maybe go away. I couldn't use my phone to try to get it away. It just, it was, it was too hard. But in middle school, it was happening so much that it kind of started affecting my grades. So at that point, my mom and dad had to take me out of school. And when I say take me out of school, I mean I kind of had to be like homeschooled. I would go to school for maybe the first two hours, then I'd go home. The tutor would be there with all the stuff that my teachers would give them. I guess you could say it worked because I didn't take when I was home and after a while I got my grades up. But at the same time, I was left out of hanging out with my friends at school. I feel like that was one of the times that I really lost connection to some of my friends. You always see stuff on Instagram and stuff like that and no one that posts that stuff means to hurt you. And I wasn't really hurt, I was just upset that I couldn't be there with them. When I look back at it now, I literally hated 7th grade year. That was the year I had to leave. I just like, it was definitely one of the years of school that I didn't enjoy. But luckily 8th grade year, my parents put me back in school. I had a great year. I think I only maybe had like 3 tick attacks the whole entire time I was at school. And they weren't bad, they were still able to leave me in class and I had a pretty good year. And the same thing for last year when I was in ninth grade. I didn't really have that many. I don't think I remember having one. I might have had one and I forget and I might have done it. I do it a couple times in class without me even knowing. The main things that make me tick <laughs> are like concentrating when I'm bored, when I'm at a place where I know I have to be quiet, where I'm stressed out. It just, it can be anything, but I've learned over the years that I can kind of control it. Like I'll be editing my videos and I'll find out that I did it like maybe the whole time during the video and I won't even notice because I don't even know what I'm doing. Just know guys, if you have Tourette's Syndrome, I really hope that doesn't keep you from doing anything that you want to do. I'm really hoping that you don't think that Tourette's is a terrible thing that's happened to you. I think, <laughs> to be honest, Tourette's does not make you different from any other kid. You're still a normal kid, you just have one thing different. It makes you special. We're all special. <laughs> I just really hope if you guys are having a hard time to talk to someone about it, you can talk with your parents because I'm sure they want to help you. You can talk with your friends, your teachers, and even more, you can talk to me. If you guys need help or need any kind of questions to be answered, I might not know them all, but I do want to help you guys as much as possible. So if you guys need help, 
send me a message, comment down below, anything's fine. I'd be happy to help out you guys. By the way guys, on August 1st, that is my one year anniversary on YouTube. I've been on here for one year, I feel that's so awesome. And I really am hoping to hit 100 subscribers before that one year on August 1st. So please hit the big subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you guys have Tourette's Syndrome too and you related to some of the things that I said, give this video a big thumbs up. Like I said, August 1st is one year anniversary of being on YouTube, so it means so much to me if you hit the big subscribe button. If you guys wanna see my last video, it'll be right over there. If you guys wanna see all my social medias would be right over there or down in the description. I really hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. If you guys don't know Lisa and Luna, they are two twins that are very popular in Musical.ly. They have almost 7 million people following them and, and I'm one of them and I think you are now too. So we're going to be reenacting their video. I'm going to be like playing or whatever you'd call it as Lena and she's going to be playing as Lisa and we're going to see how well we can reenact these videos. <laughs> we chose kind of some complex